Welcome to the video guys, welcome to this sort of video where Madden predicts the 2023 NFL Draft. It's not a mock draft, it is a 2023 draft simulation in Madden 23 with the real rookies in a very selective order, I'd feel like. Um, this is not taking, I took exactly from one site, I moved a few things here and there due to personal preference. But most of it is off of one of the uh, the most accurate, in my opinion, of boards right now. So we'll go down the board. Will Anderson seems to be a very, very highly rated player and highly uh, like his, his expectations are definitely up there. Along with Jalen Carter, beast of a man. I mean, undersized a little bit. Sure, at 6'3", that's still massive at 300 pounds probably a little bit taller wouldn't hurt his draft stock at all bryce young uh here listed at six foot 194 i highly doubt he uh measures in over six foot but it is whatever cj stroud uh, a little bit more prototypical size um seems to be more of a pocket passer more of an nfl ready guy other than will levis and um and Anthony Richardson, who I have at 16 right now, or who it has at 16 right now. I'm not sure if that's quite where I'd put him. But Will Levis under Miles Murphy is fair. Then Christian Gonzalez. Then Tyree Wilson is fine. Tyree Wilson, I really like. He has a lot of upside, so I wouldn't mind putting up further. Devin Witherspoon, Joey Porter, Paris Johnson, Peter Skoronsky. Then comes a little bit of the, the offense on the board here. So you got these few guys. Johnston, Addison, Bijan, Anthony Richardson, and Michael Mayer. I think that that is a nice little run there of offense. And then Brian Branch could be one of the best defensive players in the class for sure. Jackson Smith and Jigba, it's good, but I like other guys a little bit better. Broderick Jones later, uh, Brian Brzee's all the way down here now. Cam Smith's okay. Keely Ringo should still be up there for quarter, like top three corner in the class uh, conversation, but unfortunately has fallen out of that consideration and then Trenton Simpson phenomenal player just in, in a in, invaluable position uh at 6'3 230 he's got remarkable size he can fly around the field not quite like it doesn't play whatever but he, he's he's got great uh for like lateral you know hopscotch over here and there you know it's changing directions Ali. I was looking for another word but he, he's really good really good and uh, I really like Trenton Simpson as a prospect. Along with Jamir Gibbs, a lot of people right now, a hot topic is, will he be better than Bijan? And I think the argument stands as it can be. He can be. He can be better as possible. It's not likely, but it's possible. I think there's still probably close to a 35% chance. He's probably a better player when it's all said and done than B. John Robinson. Nolan Smith has fallen, I think, due to injury. I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering uh, anyone's reputation here, but or anyone's knowledge um if I'm, I'm ruining your guys's headspace by giving you guys false facts sorry but no one smith this far down the board to me is an ultimate steal if he doesn't have too many injuries but zay flowers clark phillips dalton kincaid foskey inside the first round emmanuel forbes and antonio johnson to cap off the first round top 32 anton darnell uh bj ojolari dewan jones siaka ika smith or schmitz for sure. I mean, he could be moved down. I mean, I like Uzama over Schmitz, but it is what it is. Uh, Derek Hall, not a big fan of. And this is a completely my class. I basically took someone else's. I had the, like, I, I still made, like, a lot of guys. I'll show you guys all the way down the board. It's amazing. And if you guys want to skip uh, towards the end of the video to see, like, how it's all said and done how it's all drafted and whatnot, you know, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not against that by any means. Uh, go ahead and skip, keep and skipping until you find the draft. Cause I can understand where you're coming from. Um, I used to be kind of impatient and whatnot like that. And then I started watching the right people that intrigued me. So if I intrigue you, I'm, I'm very thankful for that and, uh, and whatnot. And I'm glad that you're watching me, but and an hooker down the board. A lot of these colleges are coming up as NA for some reason. Um, I mean, Houston, uh, Tennessee, we saw Alabama get flagged down earlier. Marvin Mims still, I think Alabama. I could be wrong. Don't don't quote me on that. But see, look, Tennessee's right here. Good. Though. I don't know. I don't know. But 
we'll keep going down here. We can go position by position, actually. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Will Levis, Anthony Richardson, Tanner McKee, Hennon Hooker, Jaron Hall, Jake Hayner, Max Duggan. Uh, Dorian Thompson's actually really intriguing to me. I really like Dorian Thompson, but uh, not quite there. Malik Cunningham could be good in a, in a certain role. Uh, not saying as a starter by any means, so he could be a good backup. I'm not saying that he's going to come and he's going to take the league by storm, but uh, yeah. Uh, Bijan, Jamir, Devin Achain, uh, or Achain. I'm not sure exactly if that's how you say it. Uh, Zach Carbonet, I know that's how you say that. Zach Evans, Sean Tucker, Ty J. Spears, uh, Kenny McIntosh, uh, Tank Bigsby, Deuce Vaughn, Kendry Miller. I really liked at the beginning of the process. Kind of faded. His name hasn't really been mentioned highly. Eric Gray is a good prospect. Chase Brown, I love. I absolutely love Chase Brown. I love him. Roshan Johnson, another player I'm very fond of. 6'2", 225, but can run like the wind. He is so good, in my opinion. It's kind of like, a, will he go higher just because of his upside? So there's all that. Um, and then it stops around here. So when it says post uh, potential UDFA, UDFA, I think that's when you guys should really stop thinking that they're real players. So just a little brief whatever. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Jalen Hyatt, Zay Flowers, Josh Downs, Keishon Booty, Rasheed Rice. I'm a big fan of, at least I used to be probably not that big of a fan anymore. I watched the senior bowl tape. Wasn't that great? Uh, Cedric Tillman, Nathaniel Dell, Tank Dell. Uh, a lot of people, he's been getting so much hype recently. I think a lot of people saying that he should go top two rounds, which is a bit insane. I'm not going to say that it's not happening, but it's a bit insane. And I've got a lot of depth in this class. I love Jaden Reed. He's a lot of your, uh, your daily X receiver. Um, he's kind of like the George Pickens of this class almost, but way further down. Uh, who I'd really compare to him is Kayshawn Booty with a lot of different strengths. He's a lot of catch and run. He is got the true size of an of a X receiver. He's got a lot of traits that I think NFL teams will like and take him, you know, perhaps above guys like Josh Downs and Zay Flowers, just because he has that George Pickens, not mentality that George Pickens kind of upside, uh, Charlie Jones, Michael Wilson was showing out. He's one of the better, uh, route runners we've seen in the senior bowl in these last couple of years. Uh, Ronnie Bell, Puka Nakua, Jonathan Mingo, Bryce Ford Wheaton, Demario Douglas, uh, Jake Bobo, love that name. Uh, and then Trey Tucker, someone I absolutely loved, accidentally just skipped off of him here, but uh, we'll go back right up to him. He's right, okay, right here, Trey Tucker. I mean, he's very undersized, don't get me wrong, and I accidentally just did it again, but very undersized player. Oh my God, can he fly? Can he move on a dime? Can he run a route? I think he's going to be really good. Uh, in or wherever he's driving it. So he's driving in the sixth or seventh round. He'll be a rotational fourth guy, and that'd be a really good result, or even a gadget return sort of thing. I'd really like that upside from him. And then this tight end class is a bit different and weird. Uh, I like Dalton Kincaid. A lot of people actually have him falling under uh, Darnell and Musgrave. A lot of people actually have Musgrave at tight end two, which I thought was a little peculiar because I wasn't a big fan of him. Not saying that I'm all right. Not saying that. Sam Laporta, Shoemaker, Weil. Uh, just kind of got to speed up through here. You guys can see all the tackles. Got most of them in here. Guard, it's a really weak class. Center, it's okay. It's not the best. And then guard again. Once again, just not that strong. Break free Lind is probably your last guy that you'd consider there. Got a lot of edge, lot of edge players in this class for sure. And then at right end, Lucas Van Ness has been uh, piquing interest of uh, people and scouts recently. So I thought that was pretty cool defensive tackles it's not that deep but the top you know four or five are are good players no doubt and Jervon Dexter I think is a little bit of a steal down the board just with how size like how big he is I think that he really has a chance and uh we'll not move on I think uh the corners are very highly talked about I love most of the safeties in this class so um yeah we're gonna go to the draft here I'm skipping completely over free agency I'll see you guys in the draft I know this is a long intro to the video but I wanted to show you guys the class. I finally finished it yesterday. I said this is finished. The draft order obviously will move around as time goes on. But I think player wise, I'm done. There are still like some in the sixth and fifth and mostly in the seventh round that I'm missing. But I didn't really think that was a big deal. Sorry. But uh, I've got enough players to be potential UDFAs. Obviously, you guys saw Trey Tucker. And that is way, way, way down there. So I think I've made a, a lot of good work here. So I mean, I appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys do too. I'm not saying that you guys uh, have to or anything like that. I'm not saying it's a crime not to. But 
my prediction for the number one overall pick is will anderson jr probably will happen and then at number two do they go quarterback or do they settle for the defensive tackle they definitely go bryce young and then we'll probably see jalen carter if i had to guess right here jalen carter and then maybe another quarterback uh give me cj stroud here it is CJ Stroud off the board. And then at number five, this comes to first wild card, maybe Miles Murphy or Tyree Wilson. And then Miles Murphy, almost a for sure landing spot here every time somehow. And then is this a Will Levis landing spot? We'll have to see. What do we think? It is a Will Levis landing spot. Who remains on the board then? Here at number eight, we have Christian Gonzalez, very, uh, very much someone that could you know, be taken here for sure. Uh, Jordan Addison's definitely in play like Devin Witherspoon. Uh, I, I love Michael Mayer, but we'll see. Um, right here, Michael Mayer goes off the board. That is strange. You have Kyle Pitts. Do you need Michael Mayer? Absolutely the hell not. They do it anyways. Well, Anthony Richardson, he doesn't. I was hoping Anthony Richardson would fly off the board there. Doesn't. And then this might be a Christian Gonzalez spot. It is Christian Gonzalez right here. Might see a tackle. No, Brian Brzee flies up the board. Uh, the Tennessee Titans apparently in Madden have him still highly rated. Sorry, I'm messing with my face. My hair, it doesn't normally do this, but it's like itching my forehead. Super sorry. Um, Paris Johnson. Nice. Maybe another tackle. Yeah, Peter Skaronsky back-to-back tackles. Then maybe Devin Witherspoon comes off the board here. I have this pick. I can manually make it, but I'm going to screw it and go over it. It's Lucas Van Ness. It's weird. I've seen this uh, mocked a lot recently as Lucas Van Ness to the Packers, and I don't mind it. Love the love the player. Trenton Simpson. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that a lot for sure. Um, and Broderick Jones off the board a little early for him. We're seeing, I was going to say, we're seeing Devin Witherspoon fall for sure. Who else has fallen other than Anthony Richardson, which could be a landing spot right here. Anthony Richardson, Joey Porter's definitely fallen. Brian Branch, I wouldn't say you're falling. But other than that, I think the board has played perfectly. I don't know if Jalen Hyatt will be taken anytime soon. And while well, we're in the middle of this, I do kind of want to ask you guys where you guys stand. If I were to make a series with these rookies, so if I were to do like a whole other franchise series, obviously I had Houston Texans franchise uh, all series or all season long. And then now if I were to do a, I mean, an off season with these guys, I feel like or an offseason with this class and then another franchise with this class. I feel like that could be super fun. But uh, let me know how you guys feel about that and how, you know, I've already gotten a lot of people said that they'd watch that. So um, already, you know, not in the works, but definitely a strong topic in my mind for sure. Does Anthony Richardson fall off the board right here? He does. If not, probably might find himself off the board right here. Jackson Smith and Jigba goes. This would be a good spot for Devin Witherspoon, if you ask me. But Bijan. Bijan off the board. I love that. Nolan Smith, kind of a steal. Okay, Joey Porter Jr. I Did I say Devin Witherspoon? Yikes. I think, yeah, he went off the board to the Lions. Osiris Torrance. I think Antonio Johnson's a steal for any team that gets him right now. But I'd look for Brian Branch to come off the board. Osiris Torrance. So I think if it's not Brian Branch, it's going to be Antonio Johnson here at the Jacksonville Jaguars pick. And it is Brian Branch. Are we going to do this for every pick? We're going to try to guess who they're going to go with. Cam Smith, I would say that they're going to go with probably Jalen Hyatt. I'm not sure how much I believe that, but I think that that's who I'd take if I were here. Uh, Cam Smith off the board, and then Jalen Hyatt off the board. Love that fit. I hate the I hate the Cowgirls, but I love that fit with Jalen Hyatt there. And then Anton Harrison, Oklahoma corner, finds himself falling off the board a little late, uh, later in the first round at least. Jamir Gibbs to the Bengals. That gives you... Joe Mixon, Jamir Gibbs, and uh, maybe P. Ryan or uh, whatever his name is. Crap. Samaj P. Ryan. Interesting. Uh, Antonio Johnson. Five, wow. <laughs> Barely sneaks in the first round there. I didn't think he would. And then Isaiah Foskey to, to kind of cap it off for the regular, um, you know, first round due to a uh, forfeit forfeited pick from the Dolphins. And now we actually get to see all 32 picks instead and go Darnell Wright to end it. I love Darnell Wright. I think his upside's tremendous, but I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of the draft and then we'll recap this uh, first round and hopefully you guys see what you guys like. And then we'll go all the way down the board to see how well this draft class really does. I mean, I think it went swell. Okay, huge news, by the way. I just saw it on my phone. Commanders hiring Chiefs enemy as offensive coordinator. 
What in the world is going on? That is the strangest thing. I don't know if he wants to head coach sooner or not. I don't know. That is crazy to me. And then Jets are bringing in Carr as a free agent visit. That is wild to me. I don't know what you're doing if you're the enemy. Maybe better money. Maybe a lot better money. I'm not sure. But we'll go ahead and look at the league here. That is crazy. That is that is pretty crazy. At, in round one, Will Anderson off the board. Then came Bryce Young. Then came Jalen Carter. Then CJ Stroud, Tyree Wilson, Miles Murphy. Uh, a general bias top six players in the class for sure. And then at number seven is where it can kind of shake up whether or not who gets taken where. I think Will Levis right here. And then Michael Mayer. It's kind of a shakeup right here at number eight. And then Jordan Addison. Then Christian Gonzalez. Brian Brzee went really early for where he is on the board. I think I have him at a, yeah, a 74 overall. You guys can see all the overalls in this aisle right here as well. And then Paris Johnson as well. Sorry, I just got a notification. Uh, make sure it wasn't any more big news. Uh, Paris Johnson and Peter Skronsky. Skronsky, spoiler, has normal dev. Paris Johnson has star. And then Skronsky's one overall better. So do, do what you think is best. But I'd personally go with uh, a little bit of a Peter Skronsky type. I'm not a big fan of Paris over Peter. Um, Quentin Johnson as well. Good player. Lucas Van Ness off the board has a lot of upside. I love the way that he might play. And then Trenton Simpson, another stud in this class for sure goes off the board Prodrick jones as well devin witherspoon i mean at 18 is crazy it's supposed to go a lot higher than that and then anthony richardson is a 68 overall with star development but he's got the tools he needs to put it together himself i think at 68 overall i think that's realistic all right um he's not that great of a polished he's not a polished product right now we kn <coughs> we know that he's going to be drafted as a developmental piece whether or not he sits for a year or whatnot. So 68 overall, I think it's very well justified. I don't care what many people have to say. Then Jackson Smith and Jigba, 75 overall. And then B. John Robinson at 80 overall. Uh, love the player for sure with B. John. Uh, just such a different type of animal. I mean, absolutely crazy. Then Nolan Smith at 74 overall. Good pick. Joey Porter. Osiris Torrance, best guard in this class. Uh, perhaps best interior offensive lineman in this class as well. Brian Branch. Love that pick as well. Cam Smith, Jalen Hyatt. I love Jalen Hyatt, by the way. Don't know if you guys know, but I love Jalen Hyatt as a player, as a an athlete, really. I mean, tremendous speed, burst, and uh, he's just he just played a lot in Tennessee. I wouldn't say a lot, but he, he's got more experience than others. Uh, Anton Harrison, 73. John Muir Gibbs, 75. Antonio Johnson. Love Antonio Johnson. Gave him superstar development, in case you guys were curious. 76. Overall, Isaiah Foskey and Darnell Wright. Darnell Wright, one of my favorite tackles in the class, if not my favorite tackle in the class. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just got a lot going on here. Should we look at round two? I feel like that'd be kind of fun. You guys are more than free to, to click off the video, but make sure to consider subscribing and liking. That is all I have to say. We'll move to round two here. Quickly go through Keon White, I love. Uh, Drew Sanders is all right. Keely Ringo falls. Tui, Tui, uh, Tui Peloto. Love the player. A lot of these guys are 72 overalls. So probably need to change that up, maybe. Mozzie's pretty good. Schmitz. I mean, look at all these 72 and 73 overalls. Josh Downs to the Browns. Feels right. Musgrave. Dewan. McDonald. Forbes. Booty off the board to the Steelers. Got Kenny Pickett 2.0, in my opinion. No, so I'm not making a direct comparison, but just kind of like situation-wise. Uh, no, Sewell. I like the player. I don't know why he's just not been getting any hype at all. Luke Sinidiki is almost pretty good. Dalton Kincaid, I love. Uh, Javon Dexter is okay. Cody Motch, uh, love Zach Harrison. To get both, oh my God, to get both Zach Harrison and Will Anderson, that is going to be a force in the future. Devin Achain, Dante, Deontay Banks, been moving up people's draft boards. Uh, very lengthy corner. I think he's 6'2", somewhere near 200 pounds. Very solid player. Uh, Zach Charbonnet, Kalaja Kansi, uh, Jalen Duncan, Benton, Kraft, Andre Carter, and Tanner McKee off the board. Last pick of the second round is interesting. And then third round, let's kind of fly through this, kind of look at the good players. I like I like Elijah Ricks down the board. Uh, I think that he's good. Maybe you should drop him down in overall, but it is what it is. Zach Evans, Tariq Stevenson, uh, Avila, Hooker, um, I put him at a 69 overall with normal development. He's 25 years old. 
uh, my opinion, he's better than uh, Anthony Richardson immediately at the at some things. So I'll just put it that way. JL Skinner, um, Otto Bowar, and then Chris Smith, Rasheed Rice, Sidney Brown, Dayan Henley, White Whipler, Voorhees, Jordan Battle, Jarrett Patterson, Freeland, Robinson, Turner, Tucker, Tillman. I don't mind Tillman at all. He's a good player in my opinion. I uh, would like to see him probably go a little bit higher than this, but I wouldn't doubt him falling to the third. I wouldn't say late third. I'd say early or mid third, but kind of a later third round pick doesn't really surprise me, but I expect him to go a little bit higher. Brandon Joseph, good player. Actually, I loved uh great athlete, tremendous at safety um, can do a lot for you. 73 uh, tank Bigsby, Parker Washington. I also really like in this class, Nathaniel Dell, Carl Brooks, Nick Herbig. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, cause Okay, that makes sense. So look at the first three letters of the last name and then think of Nick before that. That makes sense. I can see that. Um, I was always curious why I was censored out, but right as I said it, you know, I figured it out. Um, Country Miller, uh, one of my favorite running backs in the class, 20 years old, gives him so much room to develop. And then McGuire, Morris, uh, Ikai, or there's still value on the board. Chase Brown, you guys know, 75 overall. Great, uh, great value. Demarvian Overshone, I love him uh, as just a tremendous player. I think that he can be versatile. I think that he can develop into one of the better defensive uh, pieces in the class, like more valuable guys. And then I like Rashad Torrance out of Florida, one of my one of my favorite safeties in the class, along with his teammate Troy Dean. Um, we'll continue to just funnel through here. Garrett Williams at corner a little bit later. Hickman at seventy three. Jair Brown, a lot of safeties I like in this class. Rashawn Johnson. Off the board, Hayner, Byron Young, Trey Dean, like I said, his teammate at 71, similarly rated. Uh, I, Owen Popo, uh, Davis Allen, Clemson tight end. I love Davis Allen. Uh, Max Duggan, Ronnie Bell, and then Kayvon Merriweather. Move to round number five. We'll kind of just breeze through here if anyone catches my eye. Malik Cunningham, I have at a 67. Overall, he is 23 years old with 91 speed and 94 excel. Tremendous player. Um, it is what it is. Look for these 70 overalls, like KJ Henry's pretty good. Cade Stover, I really like down the board. Uh, Jartavius Martin's also pretty good. Makai Garner, another tremendous uh, corner. I mean, this is full of just great players. These two linebackers off the board back to back. Like Cam Jones a little bit more than Dorian Williams. Cam Jones, Indiana guy, I believe. Um, just a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, just looking at from what I've seen. And then uh, 70, Javion Cohen at guard. And then we'll go to the sixth round here. Look for any sort of value. And I think Jaden Reed is tremendous value. High ceiling uh, is 23 years old already. I'm not saying that's like elderly, but definitely up there. Um, and then you keep going down. Michael Wilson. Some of these receivers are just better than others. Ja'Cory and Bennett in the sixth round is kind of crazy. But you've got so many good players in this class that you might want to take like at positional value uh, wise. I mean, Ja'Cory and Bennett has, is not worthy of a sixth round pick. He is so much better than that, in my opinion, but it is what it is. Some people just fall, um, and I guess that uh, that Madden had them falling further than others. And then Dori or Darius Rush, South Carolina corner. I think he's one of my favorite. Um, in the late rounds, one of my I, I think that's him. Uh, Devin Leary. I mean, these are kind of just whatever, guys. Riley Moss, this late? Are you kidding? He's supposed to be highly rated. I had him pretty f far up there in the class. I'm not sure what's caused him to fall this far. 69, Del Pettis, not a real player. Um, just kind of looking for real players at this point. I think he is. I think he is for sure. I know he is. Uh, Jonathan Mingo is as well. Uh, Tavion Thomas is. And Luke Haggard, I'm not sure. But good stuff there, honestly. Um, I think Trey Tucker went to the UDFA. Now that I think about it, so uh, I mean, definitely have to take a little look see into that for sure. But yeah, that that will be all for me. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I mean, I had a good time making it. Uh, finally, just stoked to have this draft class not finished, but uh, towards the final result for sure. Um, I think that was pretty cool. Tyler Scott went undrafted with Rakeem Jarrett, Bryce Ford Wheaton, Trey Palmer, Jalen Wayne. So yeah, Puka Nakua even goes. Trey Tucker. Would be an absolute steal of a UDFA star development. I mean, in my opinion, he's one of the better. I mean, you can't say he's one of the better receivers when he's supposed to go late, but I'm in love with this prospect. Uh, 5'9", 187, severely 
over or undersized and overaged at 23 Cincinnati receiver. I think that his game translates well to the NFL. I definitely could be wrong. I'm not saying that go get this guy in your fantasy draft. He's going to be that good. No, no, probably won't even be active his first two seasons in the NFL. It's nice to look at it a little bit more realistic and be more real with yourself. But I really love the way that this guy played in his one-on-ones in the Super Bowl, Senior Bowl. Um, Also like his teammate. Uh, Tyler Scott as well, who also went as a UDFA towards the top here as well. Uh, kind of not the same player, but definitely both tremendous athletes. A little undersized, Tyler Scott. 5'11 isn't small, but 185 is gen- generally tiny. <laughs> 21 years of age gives him room to kind of develop and whatnot. Has a lot of catch in traffic. Doesn't have the most reliable hands. Um, is good after the catch, though, for sure. I love the players in this class. I'm hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping I put them you know together pretty well hopefully i put the class together but i already did my outro nothing more to say other than to consider liking and subscribing both actions are free and can be undone at any time feel free to do so uh yeah that'll be all for me thank you guys for watching